Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you know from this quick intro, today we're gonna install a screen protector on Galaxy A50. I know already many of you have Galaxy A50, but I don't know how many of you have already installed on the phone, on the screen, a really good screen protector. Look at mine, because once I bought this phone, I just uh, bought also a screen protector, just a random one, no name one from the market. And if you can see already, I have scratches and uh, look, all these bubbles on the bottom of the screen. And also because I didn't have a good device to apply this uh, screen protector on my phone. Look, I've just applied the screen protector quite over the notch. So it's covering just a little bit of the notch if you can see on uh, this um, video right here. But today we got a really nice screen protector. Whitestone dome glass specially made for Galaxy A50 and Galaxy A30 and it's designed for Samsung phones if you can see this box looks quite premium and probably is not cheap but not quite expensive and it's coming with a whole kit so you can apply easily the screen protector on your phone and let's have a quick look on this package I really like it it feels very premium anyway so for full full response full clarity full coverage full filling and also we got this quite a new technology to apply a screen protector on the phone i never seen it before but uh, the adhesive curing by ultraviolet light bubble free installation kit and locker technology liquid optical cure adhesive so this was designed by whitestone in korea so yeah, you can also have a quick look on the back of this box and you can read in English, Spanish, Chinese and probably Korean. So uh, we're going to have a look what's inside on this uh, little box and we're going to start to apply the screen protector on Galaxy A50. And now we're going to have a look to see what's in the box. So just going to open the box and let's have a look. This is using the ultraviolet light, so you're gonna put it on the top of your screen after you install that screen protector. And also it's coming with an USB. Yeah, USB so you can connect this little uh, thingy on your computer. Also into the box we got, let's say, this little manual. Yeah, so you can follow all the steps from the step one till the step 7 so we're gonna leave it here at the moment also we got uh, what we got the top tray we're gonna leave it here okay and also we got this pin we got two foam pads right here what else we got we got the dust remover sticker we got the wet wipes and we got these uh, three cloths in here so you can wipe your screen after you wipe it down with these wet wipes and also we got this uh, mask speaker grill so you can apply this one on your speaker grill so that adhesive which is right here not gonna go through that speaker so you're gonna keep your phone very safe also we got a bridge and you're gonna see what we're gonna do with this and of course we got the screen protector right here okay so let's start to apply the screen protector on our phone so for the first step you're just gonna need these three little wet wipes you're gonna need this cloth and you're gonna need the dust remover so we're gonna open one wet wipe right here because we need to wipe the screen first to remove all the particles all the dust okay so make sure you just wipe all the screen all over okay next with this cloth we're just gonna dry it carefully all right is it let's have a look any particle any dust hmm seems to be quite quite uh, clean but let's just remove one dust uh, remove sticker and let's try to see any particles on the screen okay one here all right at the moment 
looks clean. All right, what are we gonna do next? Let's see. So next, we got this bottom tray and we're gonna place our phone into the tray like this. And for the next step, we're just gonna need this mask uh, speaker grill. So we're gonna try to put this one right here. Okay, so now we got the mask. So we just mask our speaker grill at this moment. So no adhesive, no liquid is gonna go on our phone. I'm just checking again for the dust, it's still clean. And what we're gonna do next? Yeah, we're gonna put the top tray over the phone. That's it, it's all in place. And we're gonna move on the next step. And this next step involves this pin, which is also into the box. So we're just gonna put it on the top hole right here. So this one is gonna keep our screen protector a little out from the screen. So the liquid is gonna be on the screen, away from our screen protector. And now we're gonna take this small bottle and we're gonna unscrew this blue top, this blue cup and we're gonna place it to that bridge that's it we're gonna place it down all right and now we're gonna unscrew the other side uh, we're gonna leave it see it's quite in the middle uh, we're gonna wait for a few more seconds and then we're gonna place the screen protector and we're gonna see what we've done okay and now we're gonna take the screen protector we're gonna peel it off this one all right that's it that's it sounds great all right we're gonna place this from the bottom to this one that's it it's all in place at this moment and now we're gonna place the liquid quite in the middle and then we're gonna pull this pin out then we're gonna leave the liquid to spread out all over okay let's wait a bit more okay and let's see what we've done all right so we're just gonna leave the liquid to spread all over okay now because it's spread all over we're gonna place this device with uv light on the top half of the phone for 15 seconds and then we're gonna place the UV light for the other half uh, of the phone for exactly 50 seconds so in total will be like 30 seconds for this process to be cured and then we're just gonna take the phone we're just gonna wipe it a little bit we're gonna see what result we got and we're gonna move on to the next step all right so now because it's spread all over we're gonna take the phone out from this bottom tray and we're gonna see what result we got let's clean it up a little bit more so uh yeah take another wet wipe that's it that's it all right just wipe it a little bit more that uh, daisy may spread on the edges of your phone okay so not too much and then with that uh, cloth just uh, We'll clean it very very well okay all right so yeah have a look it's clean it's spread all over so no dust particle bubbles and uh, is looking looking very very great you barely see if you got the screen protector applied on the phone look have a look see the screen protector it's in place so um, is looking great you cannot see it's so different between my old screen protector on and this one so on this one you cannot see actually nothing and now we're gonna repeat the process with the UV light and we're gonna place it again on the half bottom of the phone for 60 seconds so uh, no more than 60 seconds because we already place the UV light for 15 seconds um, previous so uh, in total would be 75 seconds for one half and 75 seconds for the other half so yeah 60 seconds on this uh, bottom half and then we're gonna move 
on at the 60 seconds on the top half from the phone. All right, and now let's move on the other top side of the phone and we're gonna leave it the same for 60 seconds and um, after that we're gonna come back with the final conclusion we're gonna test the fingerprint we're gonna put the case on and um, we'll see maybe the fingerprint will be more responsive with this screen protector applied on my previous one was quite um, thick and um, probably all of you observed that I got the screen protector on but now probably you're not gonna observe this one but you're still gonna ask me if I got the screen protector applied on so yeah if you want this screen protector just go on this description and have a look on the website and if you like it just um, have a try buy it and no worry if you cannot um, put it from the first uh, attempt because you still got one more bottle in your package so you can um, take the screen protector off and you can reapply it one more time so you got two chances to apply this screen protector on okay and after 60 seconds just take the device out have a look on the phone it's looking great look at this no bubbles at all and now because we applied the screen protector on the phone we're gonna register our fingerprint and uh, let's have a look look it's quite responsive very responsive one more time and that's it 100% so yeah we could register our fingerprint no problem with this screen protector on and uh, let's have a look come on yeah all right that's it look it's working quite great yeah it'll be nice and interesting speed test a fingerprint speed test yeah so it's working quite right the speed wasn't great on Galaxy A50 but it's working perfect let's have a look now with the case which I don't think we got any problem because the screen protector doesn't cover the edges if you can see looks amazing look at this it fits almost through the edge of the phone so the case doesn't touch the screen protector at, at all so yeah look looks amazing yeah you don't see you've got the screen protector on the phone except my previous one was quite white this one it's it doesn't have any color which is great so this is Galaxy A50 you got um, white stone dome glass screen protector for your Galaxy A50 and why not try for Galaxy A30 give it a try it's a link in the description uh, try it buy it if you want to and if you got any opinion just um, leave it on the comments so don't forget about using this UV light it's more important for curing process and also don't forget to put that foam pads on the edge of your phone well I did test it even without the foam pads and no problem at all the liquid didn't uh, go through the phone at all and also don't forget the speaker grill so yeah this is Wystone dome glass screen protector for your Galaxy A50 it's a premium screen protector give it a try have a look install it reinstall it and uh, share your opinion on the comments so thank you for watching this video and see you again on the next one